Good day everybody and welcome back. A few days ago a long time viewer sent me an email and sent me a link to a video that he'd uploaded but I'll put a link to that in the description and you can see how he's done his. So what he's made is an adjustable backstop to go in the collet block. He reckons it's probably a good idea if I made one too because it, it'll come in handy. There has been times where I could have used one but I've gone ahead and I've bored them all out, the ends of them out, to all, they're all to one size. So the one stop will do all of them. Now these are like a collet type stop where they've got a taper, another piece goes in and spreads a taper and then locks it into place. I don't have any plans. I did play around on the computer yesterday and sort of fiddle last around but lost interest in that bit like all good projects make it up as you go i've got to take this od down to 45 roughly it's not an important dimension and then reduce it down to 33 mil 15 millimeters long and this is going to house the female taper That last move wasn't necessary, but I'm just sort of fiddling around with this material, see what sort of surface finish I can get. So 15 mil in down to 33 mil now. I really like the way that is, that tool's cutting that, so I'm going to change it out. This material is really not wanting to play games. Thirty three point three. That should have been 32.98, yeah. Same as what the DRO was saying. So in theory this should fit on. And of course it doesn't. Try again. That's thirty two point nine. I've got to put a bore through there, what's work out what size bore and put the taper on it. I was thinking of a five degree taper, but I really don't know. I'm thinking of going ten to be honest. Um, it's only just got to swell it out a bit, but I'm worried about leaving too much meat on there and not giving it enough flex. Okay, I've just been in and played around with Fusion just to check the angle and how much meat would be left. So I want it fairly thin so it'll spread easy. So I decide on a five degree. So what I've got to do now is bore the guts out to 26. Call it 26. 0.3 roughly
try for a clean up too. According to the drawing I've done, this has got to come out to 26.3. We're at 25.6. Mm, pretty crap finish in there. So we're at 26.05. So this is not, oh, I suppose it is an important dimension. We've now got to put a five degree taper. So I'll set up the uh, compound for that by using the sign bar and gauge box. Okay, I've got me stack of gauge blocks, 8.85 I've gone with. So even if it's not exactly 100%, I'm still going to use the same stack height to do both the male and the female tapers so they'll, they'll match. So I've just got to clock that face in now. I just set it at five degrees on the graduations on the side here just to get a rough idea. That wasn't a bad guess. <laughs> I just went off the dial here, off the graduations, and it's, it's almost spot on. Now, I'm just going to move the camera. I'll just hold it so you know I'm not pulling your chain. Good enough for me. Okay, hopefully that'll be right there for the camera, but I'll just start uh, cutting this taper. I reckon that's good enough. It's thin on the sidewall, so it should spread quite easily. I just have to be very careful when I put the slots in it. So I just got to break these edges and then part it off. I've decided I'd flip it around and just machine this end piece down to 26 mil. Then I can fit it in a um, square collet block and be able to hold it to put the um, the cuts in the end. Well, you know when you start thinking of an idea, <coughs> and you think, oh yeah, I'll do that. That'll make the next part easier. Well, it didn't quite work. 
I was going to machine the tail bit down to 26mm to fit in an AR collet, but I forgot that I bought this out to 26mm. Okay, I'm going to put the slots in this. There's nothing real precision about it, it doesn't have to be exactly 90 degrees, I don't believe anyway. Um, I've touched the cutter off on the top and the bottom and found centre. It's going to come through at full depth then just by eye and probably a ruler in the slot just line it up so the slot is vertical and then I'll cut it again so it'll be full segments and I still haven't changed the coolant we've still got a nice coffee colour going here at the moment enough I reckon. I've got a um, little jack over in this side too just to stop the jaws from canting around. Yeah, all right. Plenty good enough. Hopefully that's got enough flex in it just to puff it out a little bit to make it hold in there. Fits in there pretty good. So I'll make the other part of the taper now. That will obviously come through this way and have a nut on the back that you just nip up. Maybe even by hand yet. I'm hoping anyway. This will be the internal taper section. Um, this will have the male taper on it. First dimension has to be 32 mil um, up to here, and then about 50 mil long will be down to 26 with an M26 by 1.5 thread. So. Should be 26. 
screw that. Got to be happy with that. Uh, now I've got to set the compound to 5 degrees to cut the taper. Okay, I've got the sign bar. Got a gauge block st stacked up behind this pin. And uh, hopefully you can see that dial. We're spot on. I've got a fair bit of stick out on the tool so I can got enough room to use the, the hand wheel on the back of the compound and still have tail stock support. Go on fishing, mate. Yeah, down the beach. Whereabouts? Down the beach. Aslings? Yeah. Right on it. So, yeah, mate. That's the taper done. It does fit pretty good. That actually jammed on. See it's working. Cut the thread now. That might do the day then. It's the next day and time to start cutting this thread. The gearbox is set in gear. And we should be 1.5. I'm gonna make the nut to suit this thread. One day I'm going to buy a proper lathe file, which I don't actually have. I'm going to call that thread good enough. There's probably no need for that thread to be, or this piece to be so long. Okay, I'll decide I'm going to drill this full depth of the drill and then I am going to reduce the length of this I did make it too long I don't know why I did that but I did obviously I had some harebrained idea and didn't sort of add up at the time or well, added up at the time but don't add up now I'm doing everything a bit backwards really, aren't I?
Right, hit that with a file in a minute. And I will drill that out now. Okay, tap this one. That still gives me plenty of room for a decent sized nut. I'm just going to part it off now. And then that, that piece is finished and I can go on and make the, the actual nut for it. Alrighty, I will part her off. That was painless. Okay, set up in a collet now. Um, just want to face this off and chamfer this end. And I want to um, clearance the end of this threaded hole inside. It's not as nice as I'd like that. Try another tool. Yep, that'll do. Okay, I want to clearance the back end of this hole a little bit. Yeah, all right. Now I reckon I've made a balls up. I was fiddling around with this when I was out of the chuck in the taper. Now it dawned on me that it can't actually expand, like expand these these pieces, because the taper's already touching in down the bottom in here. So I opened this up a fraction, this back hole. And I marked, I don't know if you can see that scratch mark there, but that's where the actual slots finish. So I've set the compound to five angle just by eye, to five degrees angle just by eye. So I'm going to relieve 
this portion down to the base of the thread so it was only this top section contacting with the taper and hopefully that'll make this, these expand I think I'm on the right track I'm not 100% sure but it's worth a try I've only got to make a new one if it doesn't work So that should be all it needs it's just so this it's just so this part of the taper is anything in contact with these bits that are gonna or that I want to flare out a fraction right, yeah I hunted through the um, scrap bin and found a piece of hex bar and I've just I cut a section off it faced it both sides it does have bit of a pre-existing hole but it's got to come out to 24 and a half mil going by the specs and then um, just just as an easier way of doing it instead of stuffing around on the mill putting the hex on it and everything just use a bit of hex bar That should be 24 and a half. Twenty-four point five one. What I want to do is machine a shoulder into it. The reason is. So the thread will start back here somewhere and there's no chance of it bottoming out. Well there probably is no chance of it but I'll just put a little shoulder in here which butts up against this face. Okay, I can thread that now. And I've screwed it up. Miles too sloppy. Wasn't a very smart move, was it? So I have to start that again. <clears throat> Just thinking about it, this nut's going to be plenty good enough for this job. It's not worth wasting more material making another one. Like it's going to do the job just not impressed that I screwed up and got it a bit loose well it is what it is so I'll just put it back in and I'll just chamfer this back edge I'm 
You're probably thinking, what the hell is he doing? What I am doing is trying to get these to flex a fraction more because they don't really want to move that easy. So I thought I'd just relieve a bit of material at the end of the um, tanks. Hopefully it may flex a little bit easier. Okay, I'm starting to get a bit concerned about this build. It possibly may even be a failure yet. Um, I'm going to put a couple of flats on here for a spanner so I can hold it easier. Yeah, it's got to take a 3mm, or well, take it down 3mm on, on this side, flip it 180, do the other side. Probably going to look like crap, and it does. That fix that. <laughs> nice. I'll turn that over and do the other side and. Was much easier just doing a yeah, one mil depth of cut with the fly cutter. Okay, this hasn't exactly turned out the user friendly that I wanted, but it is what it is. And that is rock solid. Like she, yeah, it's 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 tight. It does flare out, goes tight. So it is going to work. It's just you just need need a spanner with it. That's all. Maybe that taper is wrong. Maybe I've screwed that up. I don't know. But either way, it's functional. All I do now is make the actual rod to work as a depth stop. I think I might have just got lucky. Workshop lucky that is. This is a bit of printer rod that I've had laying around for God knows how long. Um, I need to make a bit of M8 rod, threaded rod. This measures 7.94, which I reckon be good enough to put an 8mm thread on. So I want to thread roughly about 130mm of this. So the idea is to machine down a section on the end and put a centre in it, thread it, and then I can just machine that piece on the end off because I need, once the centre goes in, I need clearance for the tool. Just see how it goes. Pretty lucky finding that bit of rod. I've been laying around the bench here for I don't know, 18 months. <laughs> and I thought, I was going to go and buy a piece of rod. I've been trying to do this job without buying anything. Uh, this may not even work. There may be just too much deflection on this small bar. 
but it's going to take me time and cut this very slowly. In theory, this should fit all the way. I'd say that's a good one. Pretty happy with that thread. Um, I'm just going to work out where I'm going to part it off. And got to turn this end here off a little bit. Left that a bit long, didn't I? Turned that end down. Turned that end down just so it's got a little bit sticked up the end of a like a six mil collet. <coughs> and that end there, it's just so you don't hurt you stab yourself on it, no sharp edge. I just put this together with um a collet in it, and I just put a normal nut on the back. As you can see, it'll come right up to the end of the collet. Normal operation, you're going to have it want it down in there a bit. And just nip up this, this back one. And then you've got a solid stop. I didn't think I was going to be so lucky and be able to thread that rod as easy as I did. But I'm pretty happy with that. All bar. This doesn't nip up as easy as what I expected it to, which is probably the taper. Yeah, it's probably just the way I made it, but for the amount of times it's going to get used, I can't see it being a drama to grab a couple of shifters and 
yeah, nip it into place. And at least once it's nipped up tight, you know it's never going to move. But overall, I'm pretty stoked with that. For a no plans build, build it on the run. To get it done, like to get it out, isn't all that bad. Just look, it's locked in there still in that taper. He's out. Takes bugger all. Well, thanks very much for the idea, Mark. It's it's going to be a handy thing over time, and cost me absolutely nothing to make. So. I like these free builds. So if you guys want to make one of these, go your hardest. Not hard. Just, just determine on what size end you got in your collar block. Make everything to suit. But yeah, no, good, good, easy, simple project. Anyway, appreciate your watching, and see you all next week. Peru.